Hi everybody, this is Melissa here showing you a really a, showing you a really fun craft again this week that I really, 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 really love. It's super cute and I think you're renting summer in such a really fun way. So we're gonna make this super cute fire log craft. Um, and believe it or not, all you need for this is just paper, some scissors and markers, and maybe something round to trace around. Um, the extra additive is making the cute little, <laughs> the cute little marshmallow, which I thought was kind of fun. And basically what I did is I used a popsicle stick and, um, what is it? A little puff ball. So yeah, it's going to be really cute. Like I said, a nice fun way to celebrate, um, the summer, which I think is all about campfires and enjoying the nice weather outside, even though right now we're going through some tough times. So yeah, so let's, um, get started. Alrighty, you guys, so for this craft, we're going to need um, some paper, um, preferably in these fine colors that we have here. So brown, um, yellow, red, and green. Um, and then a ruler, a pen or a pencil of some sort, um, some scissors, and also a glue stick. So we're just, I think I don't have my glue stick with me. However, let me go grab one right quick. I'm back, you guys, so I think I may have misplaced my glue stick, so, but anyway, anywho, we have a new one. So, the first thing we're going to do, actually, is we're going to grab our, um, our dark, our, what is it, our brown construction paper or regular paper, and what we're going to do is we're going to grab our ruler, and we're going to draw a line with our pencil or marker, and we're basically going to draw a line up, going this way down, um, that's four inches. So this is for our logs. So that's around four inches big. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to measure out about a width of around two inches or so. There's that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another line up and down. Right, so that is, oh bananas, I forgot to. You. Very cool. So this is more like an inch and a half, so I'm sorry about that. So yeah, we're gonna do around yeah four inches. Four inches. So that's four inches, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make to close the little log. Is I'm just going to do this. And then we're just gonna close it off as such. Alrighty, you guys, I'm back again. So Miss Andrea accidentally bombarded my, my video. She crashed my video more so. So anyway, she, she eventually, yes. So what I did is I basically just did like little squiggly lines to close it off. So that's like our first log. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna trace these. This using a pencil or a marker to make it easier. And basically we're just gonna trace around two of them. Yeah, we're just gonna trace these puppies. It's so much easier than having to do new ones, right? <laughs> and then, oh man, I think my black one is running out. So I'm just gonna use a different color. It really doesn't matter. So this obvious. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that these are for our fire logs. <laughs> So there's two of two of them. So what we're gonna do next is we're just going to cut them out. Next, I need to preserve my black marker for the lines that we need to squiggle on there. So we're just gonna cut these guys out as such. They kind of look like little cylinders. So there's one, there's two, and here's our last one. We'll just flip it over so nobody sees the, the purple <laughs> of the final product. Okay, so just to recap, this this side is four inches long and this the width of it is 
around one and a half inches or two inches in width. So there you go. So basically what I'm gonna do is just gonna flip this over so we don't have to redo it. So then the next part of this is that we're actually gonna draw the circle part of it. So what I'm gonna do is actually we're gonna use the same piece of paper that we have here and we're gonna try to guesstimate how big our circle is gonna be. It's kind of hard to measure. I um, recommend just um, drawing a bunch of circles and then going from there is probably the easiest way of doing it and then just tracing around it so that way they're all the same size. Um, so yeah. So I think that's gonna be too small, you guys. Yes. So then what I'm gonna do next, actually, I'm just going to trace roughly how big the size of this end is. There we go. So it needs to be around that big. So I'm gonna just draw one out and hope for the best, you guys. All right. Hopefully this one works. I'm just going to cut this out, and what we're going to do is we're just going to see, before we trace more of these, we're going to see if it fits. Alrighty, so let's see if it fits. I think it might be a good fit. Yay! It worked out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, I'm just going to trace, or you guys should also do it. It's just so much easier this way is trace around it. I may have to trace another one because I think I messed up. <laughs> yes, I did. So I'm going to just trace around these. So I'm just going to trace around these guys as such. I have to trace another one because I accidentally wrote on the other one. All right, cool deal. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these guys out. We're gonna use our scissors and we're gonna cut the rest of them out. And then we're just gonna cut around these guys. I think I'm gonna need another black marker. All right, so there's that. And then our last and final one. That's our last one. And then what I'm gonna do to this one, I'm just gonna cut a little triangle out. Cool deal, like a little pizza. It's like a little Pac-Man. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna flip these guys over and we're going to um, paste them onto the bottom of our firewood using our, what is it, our glue stick here. And we're just gonna glue it on on the bottom as such. So there's one and then our next one. We're gonna glue that one too. And then our last and final one, we're gonna glue it on the bottom. Just going to plop that on there. It's gonna have to be perfect. Oh man, should've did the bottom lay. So there's that. So I'm just gonna put this down a little bit more so it covers the bottom. Cool deal. All right. Then we're just gonna close that, and then we're gonna actually do is we're going to let's see. I don't even remember what I did. All right. So the next part we're gonna do is we're just going to glue them kind of together in a way, using our glue right here. Just gonna glue them together using our glue stick. Oh man, I should have did it so it's like facing upward, right? That's the most important part, right? I'm gonna glue it onward, glue it down together as such like firewood. Great, cool deal. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our black or black black or um 
black or marker or crayon. The mar marker would be better, but this is what I got. We're just gonna draw our squiggly lines on our on our firewood. Has like little circles on it, like little C's. The color like they're like little C's. There we are. Then we're gonna squiggle them onward. Like little C's for our firewood. So cool deal. There's that. So that's our firewood. The next and final part we're gonna do is draw the fire or our, our hands. Since Miss Melissa has a really big hand, <laughs> I decided to print out a template of it. So then that would be easier. So what we're gonna do is actually we're just going to trace around the little hand here or trace around your own hand <laughs> and then just cut it out. So um, I'll be back for you. Let me just cut them out and trace them and then um, I'll come back in a few. Okay, so I just finished cutting out and tracing all of my little hands here. So what I'm gonna do next, I actually only did two because I kind of got tired. So, but you are more than welcome to do more than one or more than two. I mean, more than two, you can do three or four, as many as you like for your little fire. So what you wanna do to paste it on, it's just, just like the last step, is to just glue the fire on, or the handprints. And then you're finished. And that's the finished product. Look, so you can put as many hands as you'd like and then it'll be complete. You can add a cute little popsicle stick as well as a little thing and then you're good to go.